Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to use breakout groups. Breakout group is basically a way for you to take a large group of people in your session, break them up into separate smaller groups and have them talk about a particular topic. In this video we're going to talk about how you can create those groups and a little bit about what it looks like when you are inside one of those groups. So to start, I've logged into my WebEx account, but to use breakout groups, what you have to do is switch over to Classic View. So here at the top, if you look at Classic View, you can switch over just like that. And you just have to bring this little menu page down and you'll see WebEx training. This is how you use the training center and now you're going to schedule a meeting using the training center. So if you click on schedule training under host a session, you can now put in the information for your session. So for this topic, I'll just name it. And the session password, I'm just going to leave mine the same. The conference type should be left alone. Make sure that it has the WebEx audio conference type set up here. And then you want to move down to date and time. So we're just going to leave this date and time the way it is since we are starting this session immediately. And we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on schedule or you can start the session which is what we're going to do now so once your session has started now we have to break out our group into the different sessions but in order for us to do that we have to have attendees so i'm going to bring the attendees in now so now we have two attendees that have entered here we have another uh christina dempsey since i've logged on to another account that i have you can tell the difference because this is from a mobile app and um, it doesn't say the host. So this is considered one of the attendees and IT training is considered the other attendee. So in order for us to start setting up breakout sessions, what we need to do first is go to the menu at the top that says breakout and we want to click breakout session assignment. Now you could do this automatically if you like where you could set the number of breakout sessions or you can set the number of attendees in each breakout session and then WebEx would automatically do your breakout session assignment for you. Personally, I prefer to do it manually because then you have a little bit of control over who is in every group. So if you click on manually, now you have the ability to create those sessions and you can also create uh, who is in those sessions. So in order for us to create the assignment, we want to click on the plus sign here at the bottom and we can name them breakout session one if you like, or you can erase that and name it whatever you like. So if you wanted to name it test group A or whatever you wanted to name it, you could just erase what was in there and put whatever name you'd like. I'm going to leave mine as breakout session one and I want to create an additional breakout session as well because there's going to be two separate groups. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and that creates two separate breakout session groups. If I keep pressing the plus sign, it will keep on adding those breakout sessions. So once you're done adding breakout sessions, just press return and that will set that in stone for you. So now I have to go and add the attendees into my breakout session. So to do that, I'm going to click on breakout session one so it's highlighted and I'm going to put this Christina Dempsey inside the first breakout session. I'm going to click out breakout session two and put IT training inside of that breakout session. Now notice the very first person you add to a breakout group is considered the presenter. One note I would like to make here is that it is recommended that if you are going to use breakout groups, that you and your participants should be on a computer. It's not to say that those on a mobile app cannot participate in a breakout group, but there are some limitations. Another note that I would like to make also is when you are choosing the presenter. So by default, as I said, the very first person that you add is a presenter. But if you're adding more than one and you notice that that person that you're adding that is the presenter is using a mobile application, I would choose a different person to be the presenter. So that way, when it comes time for everyone to share their content, the person is able to do that. So I'm going to click OK. And now our breakout sessions have been created. So to start the breakout session, all you need to do is click on the start button here and that will then start the breakout session. At this point, what's going to happen is the presenters of those groups are going to get prompted that will say, you have been assigned as a presenter for a breakout session. Do you want to start the session now? That presenter will say yes on either end and then they can start their breakout session. 
Now that the breakout sessions are started, the audio will switch from the main session over into the breakout session so those in those groups can have their private discussions away from the main session. And those inside of a breakout group can do a lot of the same things that a host can do inside of their particular group. So they can share content, they can have a whiteboard, they can talk back and forth about a particular topic. And so you as the professor can sort of give them whatever topic you want them to discuss and they could discuss that inside of their breakout group. Now, you can do a few things as a host in terms of uh, contacting the people inside of your breakout groups. One of the things you can do is send a broadcast message to them. So if you click on breakout and you click on broadcast message, you could say something like, you have 10 minutes left. You can also make this go to the presenter only, or you can also make this go to all attendees. In this case, I'm just going to keep it as presenter only, but if you were to send that message, those in the breakout groups would then get a message that will say, Christina Dempsey has broadcasted a message, you have 10 minutes left. So there is a way to communicate with everybody inside of their groups. Now, another thing you can do um, is you can help those individual groups. So in one of the groups, there's a button that says, ask for help. So you'll get a message that says something like this, participant IT training, breakout session to request assistance from you. So if I say, okay, what I can do is go inside of that breakout session and help them if they need it. So here at the bottom, I have breakout session two. If I want to join that session, I can click on join and now it will switch me over to that conference so I can talk to everybody in that group. So it says I'm currently connected to breakout session two, and now I can discuss anything that they're discussing. So for example, if you have somebody in the breakout group that they're discussing a whiteboard, let's say, things have started to get added into the whiteboard, you can answer any questions that are going on between everybody in the group, and you can sort of experience what they're experiencing once you join the breakout group. So once you're done, with the breakout session and you're finished helping this person, you can click on leave breakout session and that will ask you, do you want to leave? And I say leave session. And then that I'm back in the main session now, but my groups are still in their breakout sessions. So when it comes time for you to bring everybody back, you can do a few things. You can go to the breakout menu. You can ask all to return, which will give prompt them to click on the button that says end breakout session and they'll return on their own or you can end the breakout session suits which will give them a 30 second timer on their end letting them know in 30 seconds all of the breakout sessions will come to an end so we are going to end the breakout sessions and the breakout session manager has sent a message saying that they will end automatically in 30 seconds. Once everybody is back from the breakout session, you can now ask them to share any content that was discussed back and forth within the group. And the way that you do that is you go to breakout at the top, choose share breakout session content, and you choose the person that you want to share their content. So we're going to choose breakout session two, and then a message will be sent to that presenter where they can choose any content that is shareable to bring to the main session. So you say okay, and you could see here at the top that whiteboard one has been shared, and this is what was discussed in breakout session two. So that's all you really need to know about breakout groups. I think these are especially great because it allows the students to look at a topic, have a different conversation about it in their group, come back to the main session, and then bring their ideas together and see what it means to different kinds of people. The setup is very easy and it's also great because you are able to offer support to the students even though they have that separation from you as the teacher.